This video has been requested by a lot of people since the old method became outdated, so here it is. I'm going to show you how to get custom themes on your Wii U menu, and it will not have any chance of bricking your Wii U. It's completely safe. The way we're going to be doing it is through SD Caffeine, and we are on the Aroma custom firmware. The old method was for Tiramisu, but because of the issues with the app used to install the themes, it was taken down by the Homebrew App Store, and this is the method to use now. So if you do not have Aroma custom firmware set up on your Wii U, click the video in the top right or linked down below so you can get started with that. All you need for this guide is a homebrewed Wii U and a computer. Alright, so let's get started with the download. So link below, I'll have everything we need. Starting off, we're going to get the SD Caffeine plugin. Now again, just a reminder, this is for Aroma only. If you're on Tiramisu, I would highly suggest upgrading to Aroma. There's much more compatibility and you can get themes. But once you're here, just grab this SD Caffeine zip file. It'll download, we can exit that. We're gonna grab the theme manager. Now, if you got themes when you were on Tiramisu back when you were able to, this is the app we used. We are not gonna use it to get the themes, but we do need it to get our backup. So we're just gonna grab this theme manager.zip file. It will also download, we can exit that. Next up, we need to get a program called Lunar IPS. You'll see what this is for later. You do need Windows to run this, but it has also been tested to work on Linux with Wine. And don't worry, if you're on Mac, you can still do this. There'll just be a different step for you later in the video. But I'm on Windows, obviously, so I'm going to click download this yellow button here in the top right. It will download the program. We can exit that. And the last page linked below will be where we're getting the actual themes. Scroll down. You can see there is a ton, a bunch of really good looking themes. Most of them are based around the original Wii U theme with the icons floating in the background, just different colors. There are some different ones. If we scroll back to the top, the newest one is a Mario Galaxy theme, which is really cool. But once you find a theme that you want, I like this dark one. So this is the one I'm going to pick. Scroll, it should be below it. It should say download here. So just click on that. It'll take you to this Google Drive where there is two IPS files. So we're just going to highlight both of them and click download. This is your actual theme, but there is some things we have to do to make it usable. The reason it is in IPS format is because the men.pack files are actually copyrighted, so we're not allowed to distribute them. This is their solution. You can kind of read about it back on the themes page if you go to the top. Uh, kind of explains everything uh, by EOF07 and they do also have some instructions as well but I'm going to be walking you through it so you can follow me instead if you want. So theme is downloaded we can exit the Google Drive we can also exit this theme page here but if you ever want to switch your theme you can come back here and do the same thing with another one. So now it's time to insert your SD card you use to mod your Wii U and open up your downloads as well. I got my downloads on the left SD card on the right we're going to start with theme manager so open up the zip file uh, you'll need an extraction software like WinRAR or 7-Zip to extract this. But once you have that open, we're going to go on the SD card, go into Wii U, Apps, and just drag the Theme Manager inside. We can exit the WinRAR, we can delete the zip file, we don't need it anymore. And now, we need to pause our SD card setup, we'll eject our SD card, and we'll head over to the Wii U to get some extra files that we need. Alright, and once you're on your Wii U, make sure you're running your Aroma custom firmware. I have auto boot on, so it went straight to it, but if you do not, make sure you run the exploit and get onto your Aroma CFW. But now we're going to find thememanager.rpx, and it should be on the main menu. So here it is, thememanager.rpx, let's run it. Just a little warning, but we're not using this app to install themes. So on this menu, we need to use the gamepad. All we're going to do is click the R button. As you can see, it says backup current theme. So click R and it should back up a men.pack file and a men2.pack file. It does take a little bit, so just be patient. And after a minute or two, it should go back to this screen. But once it's completed, hit the home button. We'll go back to the home menu and now we can power down our Wii U, take our SD card out and head back onto the computer. And now that we've done that, you should be able to go into Wii U, themes, and you should see a backup folder. Inside will be men.pack and men2.pack. Remember where this is, because we're going to need it. 
Okay, next up, we're gonna finish setting up our SD card. Now also, if you go back into Wii U apps, you can delete theme manager now because we no longer need it. It just keeps your SD card a little bit cleaner. But back on the root, we're gonna open up the SD caffeine plugin, the zip file, and you'll see a .wps file here. That is the format for plugins, but we're gonna head into Wii U, environments, aroma, plugins, and here is where your plugins go. So grab it and drag SD caffeine into that folder. You can exit the zip file and delete it. And now on the drive download, open it up. We're gonna grab the two IPS files here and just drag them back into your downloads. We can delete the zip file. And now it's time to install Lunar IPS. And don't worry, if you're on a system that cannot run this program, just head into my Discord server and ask for the resources. And that will allow you to skip this step. So I'm just gonna minimize my SD card. I'm gonna open up this zip file, the lips 102. All we're gonna grab is the lunarips.exe. I'm gonna drag it onto my desktop, but you can put it anywhere on your computer. There it is, we can close the zip file, delete it. It just keeps your computer way cleaner. I used to not do that, and they would just be packed full of zip files everywhere. Perfect, we are ready to patch our theme. So let's open up Lunar IPS. Here's what it looks like. First step, we're gonna click on Apply IPS Patch. And if it doesn't open to your downloads, just click on it. And you should see the theme that we downloaded. If you are not seeing the file, just go into the files that you're looking for and click all files and everything will show up where you can select the IPS ones. But we're just gonna start off with the men IPS file. If you're wondering why it's men, it's for menu. It's short for menu. It's not just two guys that wanna make a menu. <laughs> but click on the first men file and click open. And now we're gonna locate our SD card. Mine is in drive F, sub to FS47. <laughs> if you added custom themes to your VWE, do not confuse it with the themes folder on the root, as that one contains all of my VWE themes. So we go into Wii U, themes, backup, and as you can see, nothing's showing up, so I'm gonna change this to all files, and there they are. We're gonna select the first m.pack file, click open, and it should patch it. The file was successfully patched, press OK. And now we're gonna do the same for the second one. So we're gonna go apply IPS patch, men2, open. It should bring you back into the same folder. It's gonna change it to all files, men2.pack, open. And our second file is now patched as well. And now we are done with that program, we can exit, open up our SD card again, and now we're gonna set up our SD caffeine files. So we already have the SD caffeine plugin in the proper spot, but now we need to make a new folder. So next step, we're gonna go into Wii U, right click and create a new folder, type in SD C-A-F-I-I-N-E, make sure you spell it right, SD caffeine, and go inside, and now in the description, you should see three title IDs that we're gonna be using. So this is region specific, so make sure you know the region of your Wii U and make sure you select the proper one. So I have them over in my notepad. My region is North America, so that's the one I'm going with today. But again, make sure you pick the right one for your Wii U. So we're gonna highlight all of these numbers, copy it, go back into the SD caffeine folder we created and create another new folder and paste. Press enter, and if you were curious, this is the title ID for the Wii U menu. And once you have that folder created, go inside. We're gonna create another new folder. We're gonna be doing a lot of that. And type in the theme name. So mine was a dark theme. Go inside. New folder, we're gonna create a content folder. Press enter, go inside. Right click, new folder, common. Press enter, go inside new folder bear with me package press enter go inside and here is where we're going to place our modified men.pack and men2.pack that we patched so we can head back to the root of our sd card go into wii u themes backup what we're going to do is cut and paste them into the proper folder so highlight both of them click cut back to the root go back into wii u SD caffeine and go all the way to, through all the folders we created into your package folder and we are going to paste them here but now once you have that all set up 
we are ready to load the theme on our Wii U. So we can eject our SD card and I'll meet you over on the Wii U. And upon booting your Wii U, as long as you have auto boot set up, it should automatically boot into SD Caffeine. Just like this, you should see the theme that you chose. So you do need to use the gamepad to navigate. Now you can technically have more than one theme on your SD card, but I highly suggest just keeping one because we'll be able to set it to auto start into that theme so it skips this page completely. So on the single theme that we have, we're gonna click minus and that will enable auto start for the mod pack. So press minus, as you can see, now it's switched to press minus to disable. So if you ever want to change it back, just do that. And just press A on your mod pack, on your theme. And it should load into the custom Wii U theme. And just like that, we are in. And if you want to change it so that it does not auto boot into the custom theme, it will prompt you when you load your Wii U to press minus to change it. Or you can go into the Aroma plugin menu. So to do that, hit the left bumper down on the D-pad and select and you'll load the Wii U plugin system menu. Here you can press A on SD Caffeine, go into advanced settings, and it will have this option, auto apply the mod pack if only one mod pack exists. You can change it to false with the D-pad. Just press B to save it, and it will go back to loading the screen that we saw earlier to pick the theme yourself. But I want mine to auto boot, so I'm gonna leave mine on true. You can also change the skip preparing mod pack screen, so I'm also gonna do that. And don't worry, you can come back into this same menu and change it back. Press back. And if you ever need a break from SD Caffeine in general, go into settings and you can just disable SD Caffeine by changing it to false. So again, this method is completely safe and there's really no way to brick your Wii U. It is much better than the last way using Theme Manager. But that is it for the guide. If you are interested in more modding tutorials, make sure you hit the subscribe and the bell notification so you don't miss any uploads. But anyways guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Stay funky and happy modding. <laughs>